It's been a minute. Um, we're back on this shit. I'm a redhead now. Basically, before the wedding, I went to get my hair done by a client of mine. And I liked the color, but it was just like... The tone wasn't right and the, it was too blonde So I went to Brazil and then I had a dress that I specifically bought to match like my brown chocolate warm hair And so when the blonde hit, I was like, it's just not looking really good And so I went to a hair salon in Brazil They do a really good job and it's so fucking cheap because the dollar is like so much over there Anyways, tomorrow I'm getting my tattoo removal session <laughs> That shit hurts so bad I'm scared My back one Oh my goodness, that shit hurt. But at the same time, to be fair, I was on my period and I'm not now. So I'm curious to know the difference because when he did that, I was like, just leave the tattoo. And then something else for my dating life has been very interesting. I'm just kind of putting myself out there and if I maybe find a connection with someone that's like really worth it, then possibly. But I'm just so committed to like, me right now that that's where i'm at i'm a new woman after this relationship i'm very i'm doing really good and i'm very grateful because i couldn't even begin to imagine being here i can confidently say i've never been the type of person that i am today i just woke up from a fat ass nap dude i didn't even mean to fall asleep you know when you wake up and you're like Days of shit. I gotta do a look though because I haven't done a look in the last few days and I feel like I'm wasting my life away. You know what song's been stuck in my head? <sighs> that I really want to make a TikTok video for? The one that's like, Angelina, is that you? This is what I planned. I don't really know how I feel about it, but like, wow, I really tanned up this summer. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? I got a little acai bowl because um, this is what we're doing in a second way. I enlarged it. I like it. I'm scared. Not alive right now. That shit fucking hurt so bad. And he said I probably need like five or six more specials. <laughs> Look at the fucking marks on my face. Cause you have to wear goggles. Cause the laser, like the light, it's not safe for your eyes. I don't know. But I was wearing the goggles. And I was laying down for my back at least. Like my arms hurt, but my back, dude. <laughs> Why does it hurt so bad? On the spine specifically, I started sweating. I was like holding onto my shirt because I was shirtless. I was like holding onto my shirt. I was like biting it. I was like, Ugh! my legs are kicking. <laughs> that being said, don't get any tattoos that you aren't 100% sure about. During the middle of the tattoo, I was like, can I just cover this up? I don't ever have to do this again. I can just cover it up. But I don't want to cover up this big, you know? But he showed me pictures of my arms and stuff. It should be like, yeah, it's like swelling up and it's red now. And it lined up a lot. And I only have three sessions now. I literally was like, just stab me. You know, just stab me. It's gotta hurt less than this. Every time I get the laundry, he has to go through it because I have those wool balls and he likes to dig for all five of them. I took off my Gelex nails because they're getting kind of crusty. I bought this at um, the drugstore. I sent Manny. If you like comedy, by the way, I found out about this guy through my cousin in Brazil. Shane Gillis. Or Shane Gillis? <laughs> I just finished them. They actually look really, really, really good. I put a coat of like um, opal iridescent polish over because they have this like, oh my, they were like this pastel iridescent type of look. This is what I deal with every time. But my nails are wet, so. I'm gonna have to wait to fix that. I ate this the other day before the gym a little bit, like just a little bit. I was wired. Mm. It's so good. 
Okay, and I don't know how to react and I don't know what to do, you know what I mean? Because I've never fought it. Like, this 